But first, Gregory Campbell, if you didn't make a deal with Gordon Brown, why didn't you? You had him at your mercy. <laughs> yes, and I suppose people are going to have it both ways now. It's going to be a case of... Uh, uh, why did you not do a deal? You should have done. And then if we had have done a deal, of course, you and others know would have been saying, uh, is this what we've come to now? Well, it's, that's life. It's down to a shabby deal in order to sell your votes. Uh, it's not. We, we met with the government systematically over a period of weeks and a very comprehensive series of meetings yesterday uh, on the issue, on no other issues. But I'm sure we will have other meetings about those other important issues. And I'm sure the government well, Why did you need so many meetings? I would have thought it would be a pretty straightforward case for you, that you would well, do whatever you thought it took to secure the, the safety of the nation. Why would you need all these meetings if it wasn't about other deals? Well, you see, if that had been our view, which it's not, then we would have voted in favour of 90 days. But we didn't, because that's a whatever-it-takes scenario. Uh, you have to balance whatever it takes. Yes, we've got to do what we can within the law, but you've got to balance that against personal and civil liberties. Now, some people thought that 42 days went too far in one direction. Our view was that, on balance, it was about right. Now, let's, let's see how it goes in the Lords. Let's see when it comes back. But the more crucial It's going to get a real battering in the Lords, it, that's it, for it, sure. It may well do. But the crucial thing is this, Noel. Now that the vote has been taken and the margin of error is precisely the number of votes that the DUP have in the House of Commons, Gordon Brown uh, and the entire Labour administration now know that between now and the end of this parliament, the one party that is crucial to their future on the well, hold votes. on, now you want it both ways. You're saying we no. did it in principle, but now we know that no. we are the boys in the big picture no. No. and we can use that to get whatever no. we want from no. Gordon Brown. On an issue of principle like this, where the security of the nation is at stake, we vote on that principle. Now that the vote has been taken, there will be a whole range of other issues that the government will also be facing rebellions on. And they will come to us and they will say, can you help us? And we will be saying, we may be able to. Now let's see the colour of your money. And, and we will be unambiguously saying to the government, so, yes, we can so vote on some So while you were voting on principle, in the back of your mind was, well, if we vote to back the government and Gordon Brown here, we're going to be in a pretty good position. No, uh, the issue was a principled position. The future and the security of the people of the United Kingdom. Mm. There can't be any bartering on that. Mm. The, the issue was, can we get the balance right? Uh, now, the votes uh, as they came out happened to show that we hold a pivotal position. Mm. Does anyone think we're going to walk away from that pivotal position, that we're not going to use it, provided that we are using it in a position that doesn't mm. countermand the principles that we hold? You see, we do know that Gordon Brown was offering all sorts of other deals to other people in his own party, deals on Yorkshire miners and compensation, deals on lifting EU sanctions in Cuba. Why would he not be prepared to talk to you about little sweeteners? Well, uh, I mean, I don't know what was on offer. Uh, it appears that everyone that you and the BBC and others have asked uh, have said, no, in fact, I wasn't approached, I wasn't offered. Some people, I, I heard some Labour MPs who were rebels saying, I wish I had been offered, but I wasn't. Yeah, yeah. So everybody well, well, there was one who, who said, apparently, that uh, if, he'd been, if he'd asked for two new bridges over the Thames, he'd have got it. So, you know, they're not all saying they weren't offered. No, uh, yeah. but, I mean... Either you believe us or you don't. Yeah. Uh, and I mean, the government are saying to everyone that they didn't offer and we didn't ask. We are saying we didn't ask and we weren't offered. But having said that, there are nine votes in the equation now. The result yeah. is there. Yeah. Now, does anyone think that having established that principle, that when other issues, not issues about national security, when other issues come around, which they will do, next week or next month or next year, that we are going to throw away that pivotal position? Of All course right. we're so not. So what's your shopping list? Well, it's going to be a shopping list that's going to bring benefit to everybody in Northern Ireland. So I hope, I hope you and others, Noel, won't then criticise us when we use that position to the greater good of Is all the people in Northern Ireland. Is it 200 million relaxation on the water rates? Well, Is it uh, keeping all the proceeds of the, from the sale of military bases? Well, let's, let's see. Let's see. Uh, Is I it mean, not bringing abortion law into well, Northern I mean, Ireland? Well, I mean, isn't it nice that uh, Northern Ireland MPs, who uh, in, in some respects in the past there's been attempts to sideline us. Isn't it nice now that we're centre stage and that we can command uh, a pivotal position and we can barter and we can argue for the greater good of everybody? Mm. Is anybody in Northern Ireland going to say, no, I don't think that's a good idea to do so, it? So is this, I want to go back to this meeting, this last meeting with Gordon Brown, just an hour before the vote. So there, there was no sparkle in your eye or in Gordon Brown's eye when you said, well, OK, Gordon, we'll back you on this one, but... We will come back with a shopping list. No, there wasn't. Uh, the, the issues, the discussions, the debate, the to and fro, solely centred on the bill and the pros and cons of the bill. 
other issues that we've talked about before. Remember, the, the other issues that you've referred to are not new issues. Mm. We've talked about them before. But they're unresolved issues. And we will talk about them again. Mm. Uh, and, and I have no doubt the government will be depending on us on issues that are not to do with national security. Right. And we will use our votes in the best and wisest way possible for the UK as a whole, mm. but particularly for the good of Northern Ireland. Now, you know that Republicans already believe that the DUP is having it all its own way at the Assembly. Do you think that this extra clout that you have, this, this crucial nature as your own party's describing it, of your party's votes to Gordon Bryan, will that upset the balance of power at the Assembly further? You mean that Sinn Féin might be annoyed that there's a unionist agenda being well, you're going to be, more than you're going to be swinging the big club saying, well, we can get Gordon Brown to do whatever we want him to do because he owes us uh, one. Well, I wish it was as simple as that. No, I, mean, I think you know and everyone else knows it's not as simple as that. It's, things aren't as black and white as that. But uh, the, the Assembly and, and the business of the Assembly will go along its merry way. There will be problems. We will try and solve those problems. Uh, and we will try and resolve all the outstanding issues that have to be resolved. And there are a number of them. The IRA Army Council. Uh, there are other issues that have to be resolved. A whole series of them. Transfer of Police and Justice, Irish Language Act. A whole series of them. The parades issue, uh, underinvestment. Mm -hmm. All of those issues have to be resolved. And you're happy that a process is now in place that will lead to the resolution of all those issues? Well, I'm content... After the Downing Street talks uh, last week. No, I, I'm content that those issues can be resolved in the fullness of time. If we're talking about the policing and justice issue, that will be resolved when there is confidence in the wider community that it should be resolved. Mm. And in Gordon Bryan won't be devolution. pushing for it because he won't be able to push for it because you'll say, hold on, Gordon, you owe us one. Well, I, I couldn't possibly put it as bluntly as that, no, but that's, but that's the, way, the way it is. That's the way you've used to describe it. And, uh, and you you're know. not going to deny it. Well, I mean, uh, that's the way things are.